I have five minutes to get my makeup done. <laughs> Hello angels, what is up, what is good? I'm gonna do like the quickest intro ever just because I really need to like go grab something to eat for breakfast and head out because I have a hair appointment. So that brings us to the topic of today's video. I've been seeing this trend going around on YouTube, on TikTok, whatever, and it's like becoming that girl, right? Like there's that girl on TikTok who apparently is like super productive, has her life together, like eats super healthy, like does all the things to basically be the best version of herself that she could be. And I thought, oh my God, what like a cute and fun video idea. I like saw a couple of people do this video already and I was like, you know what? I never really do those like super trendy, you know, videos like on YouTube or whatever. But this was one that I was like, this is kind of cute because like, I don't know, I feel like it sends a good message. You're like trying to become, you know, the best version of yourself and whatnot. And don't get me wrong. I think that we are all amazing human beings. I think that you are all absolutely perfect in every single way possible. But it's a fun little thing to be like, oh, let's be like super productive, become that girl, eat healthy, do all the things to just make ourselves thrive the absolute most. I have a hair appointment in literally 45 minutes. So I am going to get my hair done. I've got a nail appointment later this week. I'm doing my makeup right now just so I can like real feel super put together. I have a super cute outfit on. That being said, let's, here, here we go. <laughs> friends this is the outfit of the day we did very 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 light makeup as you can see and then I just have the white crop top tank top that I wear all the time and these super cute floaty shorts they look like a skirt but they are denim shorts I love them I think they're so fun and different and unique and cute I have them tied with the shoelace in the back though because they're a little big and then I have my half crew socks linked to my Amazon storefront and then my DKNY shoes okay let's go get the hair done there it's like really dirty right now so it looks all like darker and stuff but i don't know if you can see but i desperately need to get it done that's my root and then that's the red <laughs> all right angels we have arrived to my hair appointment i'm so excited i don't think i'm gonna do anything too drastic it should just be a touch up i don't think i'm gonna do anything too drastic it should just be a touch up but honestly i never know what i'm gonna leave the hair salon with so i guess we'll see he said we're going slightly lighter All right, guys, so I got my hair done and then I came home and had an avocado toast because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch or anything and it was really, really good. My brother made it for me and I guess I'll just like do the hair reveal and then I'll talk about it after. So I, f I didn't think I was gonna be doing a big hair reveal in this vlog. I don't think I'm gonna do anything too drastic. It should just be a touch up. But apparently I am. <laughs> so, ready? Hold on. <laughs> Hi. Okay, okay, I need to figure out like a way to sit down this camera so that we can talk about this situation really quick. Hold on, all right, are we good here? Ah, don't fall, oh my God, are we good? So, this is my new hair. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna have new hair in this vlog, but basically I was sitting there and I thought I was just gonna get a touch up. I don't think I'm gonna do anything too drastic, it should just be a touch up. But then my hairstylist is like, you know what, like for summer, why don't we like brighten up a few pieces? And I was like, okay, yeah, for sure. So he mentioned brightening up the roots and then like going through and just like taking a couple pieces and stuff and brightening it up. It's not translating on camera the way that it actually is in person. Like it looks very on camera, like red, black, like whatever. But my hair is still like that darker red tone, but then there are these more vibrant red pieces kind of underneath and stuff. So it's definitely a big change like from this distance this is kind of like i guess it looks a little bit more like what it looks like in person but i don't know i have a photo on my instagram that looks a little bit like more realistic as to what it actually is yeah this is my new hair for right now um it's definitely a big ch a bigger change than i was expecting so i think that it's gonna take me a little bit to like digest it i've never had such a vibrant like in your face kind of color so i'm not sure yet it's gotta like we, ha we have to see we have to wait and see um there's definitely like areas though that i'm like in love with and there's areas that i'm like mm, not too sure so we'll see but in any case this is you know the hair <laughs> i had my avocado toast because i feel like that girl that's got her life together always has her avocado toast and guys i've been really really 
becoming more fond of the avocado toast i'm a fan of it now but anyway now um i have to get ready to go to cheer practice and stuff like that so i'm not gonna vlog that part because that's not what this vlog is for but then i'll probably catch up with you guys later hey <laughs> it is the next day now friends and i came to my favorite little juicery slash acai bowl place and i got my acai bowl because i feel like that girl always has her ish together and you know with the healthy food the healthy eating so we had our avocado toast yesterday and i have an acai bowl today i'm really excited update on the hair it is i'm loving it i'm literally living for it i was at the gym yesterday and when i got there everybody like all of my little ones and stuff were like you look like princess ariel i was like thanks guys everybody was like you literally look like a little mermaid i was like well maybe that's the vibe for the summer you know like kind of cute kind of fun but yeah it's definitely growing on me i'm starting to like get a little more used to it like the initial shock was like a little more, more toned down i will say though i think that after i wash it for the first time I'm very interested to see how much of the vibrance um, goes away, if any at all. But I'm definitely really, really liking it. And then I feel like it definitely pops well with the purple. I wore a purple shirt today specifically to see like how I like the color contrast and stuff. So we got our acai bowl up in her. And I'm gonna go home and eat it. And I'm really, really excited for that because I've been craving acai bowls like no other. If you follow me on Instagram, I've literally been having an acai bowl like every other day. I love them. And then we're gonna get some work done. Okay, friends. So something else that I feel like I need to do in order to become my best self, which is something that I recently started doing again. I used to love reading so, so much. I was an avid reader growing up. When I got into high school, that kind of like stopped because I was forced to read certain books for school. But then once I got into college, I kind of started reading again and I like fell back in love with it. So this is a book that I've actually had for a while but hadn't started reading it yet. It's by Sophie Kinsella. She's my favorite author of all all time i love her books and this one's called the undomestic goddess i love the confessions of a shopaholic series if you saw that movie it was based on the book so i love that series and i just love all of her books so i actually had recently gone to barnes and noble and i grabbed a few other books and i had purchased sophie Kinsella's newest book while i was there because she just came out with one but before i read that one i was like i need to read the one that i had that i haven't read yet so i've been reading this one and it is so good i'm already like i would say i'm about 108 pages in like i'm this far in right now so i still definitely have a bit to go but i've been reading a ton and i definitely feel like it has been improving my mood and just been so good for me overall so if you are considering reading or picking up a book or anything like that this is your sign to do it <laughs> i'm actually about halfway through a chapter right now so i'm gonna finish up this chapter i def i have like literally two pages left so we're gonna read through this really quick Ugh. Guys, this book is so good. I'm about to start chapter 10, but I'm gonna take a break from reading really quick because I have another activity that I need to do. So one thing that I have been considering doing for a really, really long time, but just never have because I've just never really like, I don't know, just sat down to do it, was journaling. Now, when I was younger, I was never really the type to like have a diary or like write like I don't know, it just like wasn't really my thing. Just because like I never really had something that I felt was so significant that I needed to jot down. But with journaling and how like big it's gotten, I feel like it could be really fun and nice to just like write down little like thoughts and stuff and kind of like recaps of like my day or whatever to then be able to look back on in like, you know, a year or two and kind of see like if significant things happened or just like, I don't know. I feel like it would be fun to like maybe like five years down the line be able to like look back and see, oh my gosh, like this is what I was doing then and this is how I felt about it and like I don't know I feel like it could be cool so I had found this pink notebook at Target a while back and it's such a cute notebook it's like super fun and it's I don't know I just really like it but I felt like I didn't have anything to use it for I just got it because I love stationery and I'm obsessed with it and it was a pink notebook so I was like okay I need to get this and I'll figure out what to do with it later so I've been holding on to it and waiting to use it for something fun and I feel like journaling would be the perfect thing for it you guys know I love like drawing and writing and like lettering and all that kind of stuff so I feel like just having a journal that's not a digital screen or whatever that I could just use to literally write down whatever I want would be really really fun I'm pulling out my inner Carrie Brad Shaw and I feel like it's gonna be fun time. All right cuties, I just finished journaling and let me tell you, I went into that thinking maybe I'll write like a sentence or two and I ended up writing stuff that I was like, I had no idea that I was feeling this right now. So that was really fun and I totally understand the whole journaling thing now. I wrote like a page and a half or something of just like random like thoughts, literally just brain dumping into that journal. So that was really fun and it felt very therapeutic. Now I think I am going to have an apple, have some fruit and whatnot because I don't know I'm just on a big fruit kick
cake trying to live my best life and yeah that's all of like the productivity stuff that I'm gonna do for today I have more that I have to do tomorrow and Saturday and stuff so I will probably update you guys then. Hello angels it is 7 50 a.m. we are about to go to the gym because in order to be our best selves of our best lives we got to get a workout in and I always feel the best when I go into my workout so yeah here we go I'm wearing just like a normal tank top leggings and stuff the hair is still holding up well <laughs> okay let's go work out hello angels update on the hair it's starting to get a little bit darker in person just because like as the days go on it's like not super super clean and I also worked out this morning and was kind of like sweating and whatnot so I think it's starting to like get a little dirty which makes it look darker this th this looks I don't know why it looks so vibrant on camera I swear it's not that vibrant in person I have a story time so I had this plan for today to go and as part of being that girl, something that I feel like that girl does is like very aesthetic and she takes all her film photos and stuff, which I had been taking film photos for the last couple of months and I dropped off my film. And if you saw a couple vlogs back of me doing all the things that I'd been like putting off doing, I had a film roll, like a roll of film that was like ready to be developed with photos. So I went, I took it to be developed and they told me, okay, in two weeks, you can come back and pick up your film. Okay, so today marked the two weeks, I went, to the place and I give them my ticket and they're like actually your photos aren't here and I was like uh -huh, what <laughs> they're like yeah I don't know why because it's supposed to be here it's the two weeks but they haven't been sent here yet and we're not sure why they were like was it a black and white film and I was like no it was colored like it was just a normal Kodak roll and they were like hmm yeah that's weird because the black and whites have been taking a lot longer to develop there's been a lot more I guess demand for them but the colored ones shouldn't have had a problem so I'm not really sure what's going on but they're not here and they like took down my name and number and we're like we'll call you when we find something out so moral of that story um, I failed at being that girl today but <laughs> I tried though and I drove like so far out of the way to go to that place because it's the only one remotely close to me that develops film and it was a failure but it's okay I came back home and let me tell you guys, I have been dying last night and today. I journaled yesterday in the morning. It felt so nice. And then all throughout the day, all I could think of was like things that I wanted to journal. And then today I was like, I cannot wait to journal. So we have our coffee. It's a very, very gloomy day. So we got our hot coffee. It's very, very yummy. It's got some cinnamon in it. I have my journal and we're going to do some journaling today. And then I think I'm just going to hang out and watch some Sex in the City. It's been really, really inspiring me lately. All right, my friends, it is the next morning and the last part of our becoming that girl best version of ourselves transformation thing <laughs> is going to be going and getting our nails done you guys know i love getting my nails done these nails are really grown out i thought about changing up the color but honestly me and my best self is literally just a freshly done french acrylic manicure so that's what we're gonna do <laughs> i have my nails done they are so like fresh and good and they just make me feel like a new person with my nails my hair like ah oh. I just love it, but I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this fun little coming the best version of myself kind of video because at first I wanted to do like a becoming that girl video like on TikTok, the whole like that girl thing. But then as I was going through and doing like all of these things and whatever, I kind of realized like I don't really think it's about becoming that girl that like everybody wants to be i think it's literally just becoming the best version of yourself which i think that just doing things that make me feel confident and like being confident in myself as a person i don't know i just feel like that when you have that confidence in yourself you are literally the best version of yourself that you could possibly be and there's no comparison for that you know what i mean like i feel like it's super important not to try to be somebody else or you know become like that one person or whatever because i don't know to me like that's not really the goal here to me it's more about literally just what do i need to do to be the best version of sophia that i can be and just like be my happiest self living my best life so i definitely will say i'm gonna take journaling so much like farther with me because that has been so fun and eye-opening i've also been reading a ton and just like doing things that make me feel happy and confident and just the best version of myself so yeah Sorry, that got a little preachy, but <laughs> moral of the story. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you super soon in my next video. Bye!